Now, every year we dispose of more than 2 billion tons of waste. Of course, 99% of this stunning amount of waste is partly due to throwing out the items we buy within six months of purchase, and that's not a very green way to live. No, it is not. Managing waste the right way makes for a, a greener, more sustainable ecosystem out there. But do you know what the four R's of green living are? Well, I'll tell you. Reduce, reuse, repurpose and recycle. Dulsco, who's the official waste management partner of Expo 2020 here, uh, wants to raise awareness about the importance of this kind of sustainable living. Uh, here's a bit more. As the UAE strives to secure a sustainable society, today we are meeting with the official waste management partner of Expo 2020 Dubai to learn about some of the innovative solutions helping us achieve a greener future. So David, Dolsko is responsible for disposing huge amounts of waste every day from Expo. What kind of sustainable solutions are you going to be using to tackle that? So that's a really good question. So at Expo, we, we believe we're going to be disposing around uh, or processing about 170 tonnes of, of waste. We want to divert as much of that away from landfill as we can. One of the goals at hand that I think is incredible is that you're trying to divert 85% of waste away from the landfill. How exactly do you plan on accomplishing that and what would that goal, achieving that goal mean for us? So look, it would mean a great deal to everybody because it's not been done before. 85% um, is a target that we've, we've all uh, looking to achieve. We've been able to do it pre-event um, with obviously the construction um, phase uh, where we've been able to take that waste material and take it to our construction demolition facilities and, and you know turn that back into aggregates uh, or you know, take that wood and uh, shred it and then use it in the cement um, facilities up in the Northern Emirates. We're really proud of our partnership with Expo and with the other partners as well. It's vital vitally important that we get the messaging and we're able to use this to really amplify the messaging of what we're all trying to achieve which is to, to have a better environment for us all to live in. We're ever hopeful when event time comes we can continue that journey and achieve those goals. Is there anything that you're going to be doing on site which people can enjoy, families, kids? Dosco's going to have their own activation at the Expo 2020 site. It's called the Waste to Resource Journey, where kids, families, adults can come and um, learn more about waste disposal, waste segregation, and the different facilities that Dosco has invested in. And it's a very interactive and fun booth. So we're very excited to have heard about the recycling buses making their way around town. What can you tell us about them and what do you hope to accomplish with them? We came up with the idea of Dolsko's recycling bus that is an ex-commercial bus refurbished and turned into a moving bin that will drive around communities and give access to, to these communities to dispose of their recycling material. So as you can see, we have different windows for different type of material. One is dedicated for the mixed recyclable waste that will end up in our material recovery facility for further segregation. One for light bulbs and electronic waste. So we're trying to tackle what is really generated in households, schools and communities. So for people who are interested in recycling with this bus, is there a schedule? Absolutely. So we pre-schedule the tour of the bus with school students and we announce on our website or social media when the bus will be touring different communities throughout the UAE. From recycling buses to new facilities, Expo has already inspired crucial contributions towards paving a circular economy and hopefully a much brighter future ahead. Now, in fact, joining us from Dalsco to tell us a little bit more about uh, those initiatives, uh, their uh, initiatives uh, and uh, elsewise, uh, we've got the man who was actually just in the uh, report for us there. David, thank you so much indeed for being with us. Thank you for your time this morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Um, the bus, fascinating. Where can we find the bus? Uh, the bus goes around many communities, uh, schools as well. Obviously, with the temperatures falling now, uh, more people are willing to come outside to the bus and, and push their recycling um, through the various uh, uh, openings on the bus. Um, but it goes around supermarkets, it goes around uh, livable communities as well as the schools. And it's a great way to engage with our, with our communities. Mm. Every year you make it your personal responsibility through Dulsco uh, to really move into a new era of growth and sustainability as the CEO of the company. We would love to know a little bit more about your collaboration here at Expo 2020. Um, I think you know, a lot of messages I've heard this morning talking about waste uh, yeah. and actually we view it as a, as a resource. 
um, because the opportunity to actually look at the problem at the front end, so food waste is an enormous global problem, but how can we help to actually stop producing so much food to make people utilise really only what they need? Um, so the engagement of actually having the dialogue and changing the narrative away from waste to a resource, um, there will always be some form of output from, uh, from items that we use. And if we can invest in technologies, in, in narrative uh, and engagement with our, with our communities, with our customers, it helps us to change the ability to actually reduce the amount of byproduct that comes from it. But when we do get the byproduct, do something with it. Mm -hmm. And you'll have seen from, from, the, uh, from the video, uh, been able to take paper and waste paper and actually use it uh, into new items such as egg trays. So you're getting a full circular economy. Uh, medical items, uh, rather than <coughs> having to waste water washing them, actually using them in an incinerate which creates power and creates energy, etc. David, question. Who's Birdie? <laughs> um, I'm delighted you didn't ask me to dress up as Birdie this morning. Um, Birdie is, is, our, is our icon. Uh, we needed something that would really engage with, with, with the youngsters, as well as make it fun, um, to talk about recycling. Yeah. Um, and Birdie, if you think of a bird, a bird is one of the best recyclers. They've been doing it for thousands of years. They pick up seeds, they move things, they, they, you know, they're able to, to, to transcend borders. Um, <coughs> so we used uh, a bright green bird to be able to, uh, to do this. It came from our marketing team and their kids. Uh, a great way of actually going to communities, uh, to, to large malls, and really showing the public there's, there's a fun interactive icon. So Birdie will feature all around the UAE. Birdie will be on site at our activation centre, which uh, opens up next Thursday. Um, and it will allow the public to have fun, take some pictures, but really give a, a mascot that, that works for us. Mm. David, well, we're actually short on time, but we definitely want to know more mm. about uh, Dolsko and all the different activations you have over here. And of course, Birdie, I definitely need to see <laughs> this one right now. Where can we follow you on Instagram? So, um, Dolsko has its own Instagram page. It has a, a very large social media presence. Uh, we tend to put it on our, on our vehicles. Um, so, please go to uh, Instagram for, for Dolsko, uh, dolsko.com. Uh, we've got our own uh, micro site for Expo and everything we're doing at Expo embedded uh, alongside the Dolsko main website. Fantastic. Thank you so much for yeah, joining us, us here. Thank you very much. Right. After the break.